Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm Susan. And I'm Jan. And we are our, our Serenity, Serenity Homestead. Homestead. And we're having a porch chat on the patio of the Fisher House in St. Louis, Missouri. Missouri. It is beautiful here. We fell in love with this city. Yeah. Yeah. Who knew? I've been here before. I don't remember it being this awesome. Yeah. Um, the old downtown area where all the brick buildings are and little bodeg bodegos and little cafes. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty old for a U.S. city also, yeah. especially yeah. Midwestern yeah. U.S. city. So a lot of 1838s and... 1763. Yeah. Some stuff like that. States on it. So that's that's pretty cool for the United States. That's pretty cool. Yeah, of course. Always thought the United States was old till I went to Europe. Yeah, this ain't. This is a baby here. A baby. <laughs> so we're at the Fisher House. If you if you're military, Fisher House. If you get referred to go to a VA in another, you know, 50 miles away from home, uh, you can stay at the Fisher House. And this is <sighs> amazing. Yes. They are really, really awesome people yeah. here. All the volunteers. I mean, uh, you can't eat or, well, you can have water in your room, but you can't eat. And they don't have microwaves in them, but they have a full-size, I mean, like on TV Food Network kitchen. Yeah. Stocked with everything you can imagine to eat. You can cook whatever you want. There's no questions asked. You just have to treat it like your own home, clean up after you and... You know, they have laundry rooms, they... Movies. Yeah. Yeah, they, they're they really great people. They have a music room. Yep. Um, it's pretty cool. I, I'm, and you stay for free as a veteran and yeah. your family. So, it was pretty cool. I mean, you come up, you're already in stress because you're, you're having to have something pretty major if you're going to have to stay yeah. overnight. So, uh... And I got to say, the people that took care of me were... Awesome. Yeah, Cindy Lou Who, the one, nurse. One nurse in particular. Cindy uh, Lou Who. Yeah, we have some video of her. Action. Cindy, how's my hair? Well, it's a little messy here. Let's get it all together. You've got a little bed head kicking. Mm -hmm. She takes such good care of me. Thank you. She's one of the best. No, no. She is I'm the sorry. Best. She is the best. Nice. I'm sedated, so I don't. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a great day. Okay. You have to say boo bye. Boo bye. Boo bye. Boo -bye. <laughs> yeah. Um, she, yeah. was, she was cool beans. Yeah, and we got good news uh, after the procedure. Yeah. And so everything's so looking everything's good. Everything's looking really good. Um, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy too. Yeah, so. Good news. Uh, we went to the arch. Yeah, we went to the arch. Yeah. We didn't go up it, which you can. They have a tram that goes up there. The little bubble that you get into. The, the tram car. Yeah. Or whatever. It's a this big. <laughs> you have to be this big yeah. to fit in there. There's five little seats in there. Because we plan on coming back because we got to meet our the boys. tiny cabin project. Oh, we had a blast. Oh my gosh. Talk about kindred spirits. They are uh, two of the cutest, little <laughs> adorable, yes. A little adorable. Charles and Jan have a lot in common. Cool. Yeah. 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 But yeah. we've been following them for over two years. Yeah. Or stalking them, whatever. We subscribe <laughs> to their channel. We've mentioned them a few times in some of our mm -hmm. videos. We just love those guys. And... Finally getting to meet Finally them. Finally getting to meet for, you know, face to face. You know. Was great. Yeah, we spent about three hours <laughs> at a little um, patio, yeah. patio cafe that they chose for us. It was it was nice. Had good food. Mm -hmm. uh, good company. It was a nice. It was a really nice night. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, I, we just love the boys. We've always just had an affinity for those guys. But mm -hmm. to meet them in real life, see how real they are, that's pretty cool. One of the first YouTube channels that we subscribed to, yeah, was was uh, was the boys. Yeah, yeah. I always I'm always mess that. They up. got a little shabbin in the woods, and uh, there's this small, but it's uh, yeah, it's so cute, and they've done so much to it, yeah. and it's completely off grid. So yeah, check them out. Our tiny cabin project. 
but yeah, we, you know, we couldn't do a whole lot because obviously we're not here for vacation, you know, but uh, we did what we could and yeah. we're coming back. We're definitely yeah. coming back. It was nice this trip that we didn't have to pay for a hotel. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, the traffic wasn't bad. I mean, it's no. it's not even compared to Dallas. I it's was nothing. I made the comment that this was nothing like Dallas traffic, and we got was kind of in rush hour last night. Yeah, right? we were. And nothing. It was like this is rush hour. Mrs. Fisher House is nice because right there, right there. I mean, Dude, right, like right, right there, there is the Mississippi River. Yeah. Guess what that is? The gazebo? No, that body of water. The Mississippi River? We're having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> and even though it's flooded right now... It's blue. It's blue and it's pretty. I mean, well, we've had a, a nice stay, you know, the accommodations are awesome. Uh, getting to meet the boys was my second mm -hmm. favorite thing. And um, that was just... Good news at the hospital? That was the most favorite thing. Yes. It has been a two-year trial yes. for me, so this is good. This is great news. But, you know, we're here, and we'll be back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I really like this city. Yeah. I can't wait to just come vacation. Mm -hmm. Beautiful old brick buildings with all the decorations and architecture and... The uh, old churches? Yeah. Oh, the we, 1800s were, we were like, like hillbillies what? hanging out the window going, wow, wow, wow. Yeah. It was, they were gorgeous. And a lot of them are being redone. And, yeah. Um, okay. There were some places that reminded me, like, uh, I lived lived in New York in the 70s. And I said, oh, this looks like the Bronx. No offense to anybody from the Bronx. But if you remember it back in the 70s, it wasn't exactly gorgeous, okay? But, um, yeah. It was, it reminded me a lot of the East Coast buildings, the old brick buildings. Row houses, oh, they're just gorgeous. Yeah. Stained glass windows in the houses. Yeah. I, I was just, almost like Charleston has little yeah. decorative houses and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it was really cool. We'll have to definitely come back and when we're not, you know, doing medical procedures yeah. and, and, uh, and visit. And see, of course, we got to come see the boys, you know, so... And we have other friends that have moved into the area, so you know who you are. Yeah. We'll be coming to see you. We'll make a trip back up here. This is cool. Oh, we have some uh, video of the rice fields. Yeah. You know, going northeast to Arkansas to come up to Missouri, this part of Missouri, is rice, rice patties. Yes. <laughs> I was like, what? I mean, we, we knew they grew rice there, but actually seeing them was just really cool. Yeah. I mean, just miles and miles. Yeah. And I had gone through what about a month earlier, and the rains had flooded it all. So it it looked like a lake out there. But yeah. It's we got some video of the rice rice patties. And if you can see behind Jan, those are rice patties, rice fields. Not peppermint patties. No. It is amazing that in northern Arkansas, this is one thing that they do. They do rice. It is so cool. Until next time, goodbye. goodbye.